Hello everyone, welcome back to Nuclear Catfish Shipyards, and today we're going to do some more work on the carrier, which I've been doing a little off-camera work on it just to figure out sort of a basic shape for it. And, yeah, I think I like how it's coming along, and hold on, there's something that I need to do. Just get these things out of the stupid way. Go. Go away. I need to get this one out of the way too. No. Not point that direction. Point that direction. Goodbye. There it is. It's out of the way now. And now I can get back to work on this. It's big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nestle some um, sideways facing thrusters in here. You know. And then just have them be sort of protected. Say, move it like back here and add a little bank of them. See, there you go. Wonderful. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking that maybe before I do anything else, I should figure out basically the guts of the ship, which is basically where I'm going to put the reactors. Okay, which I've decided back here, right on top of the thrusters, because that's always smart. And then how I'm gonna do all the other stuff. Because we're gonna need it. Yeah. That's that's my my design. And where are all the cables? There. There you go. That's my storage matrix. And what I'm gonna do. As I'm gonna have a way for there's gonna be like a second level of fighter storage, okay? All right, and I think I may make this a fighter bay for larger ships, and maybe I will have an up um, a. is up higher. Alright. Alright, there. All connected up. So now back to what I was actually doing, which was this. just have a little thing like this. Okay. And then we'll do a thing like this. Alright, there you go. There you go. Just gonna put a bunch of light armor. Right? Mm 
There you go. Perfect. It's all good. Designing spaceships. Very good. That actually puts kind of a pretty neat look onto it. Pretty neat, actually. I like it. I like it. And then you just do that. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, no, I didn't. Boop. 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 That's better. Just flip you around. So that ain't right either. What did I do wrong? Yeah. I did you wrong. Right, you're right like that. And you, sir, are like that. Bada bing, bada boom, there you go. Wonderful. No. Good. Do good. Do good with your life.
Okay. Um. Okay, so need to replicate that down here. All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. See? There you go. Doing good. And then just do you. Do you. There you go. Good. Good, good. Good, good, good. That's good. Now it's starting to look like less of a break. That's very good. Because having this thing look like a brick is no bueno. There we go. There you go. So now we just gotta do stuff on this upper level, and so what I think I'm going to do is that, okay, say we're gonna separate it right here, and right there, there will be our airlock, okay, airlock, right there, all good. Of course, I forgot there is no gravity. Except for what is underneath us. I haven't put in any gravity yet. Yeah. Yeah. And then up here, what we can have is another, say, storage bay or something like that. Yeah. I say... We get rid of the storage back here and just put more reactors, and then we can put our main storage up here. Alright, and then we can do a thing, a fancy thing with conveyors to get it up over the yeah. Alright? <coughs> Alright, so. When we want you in here, we'll have a thing like this. Okay, storage bay. Get me? Good. Storage bay. Up in the front. Storage bay. Doing a thing like this would be wasting space. With that instead, I will do a thing like this, and then just put the layer of armor in front of it. Because we can't have our cargo bays exposed, no. There you go. Cargo bays. Cargo bays. Because this thing's gonna need to be able to carry a decent amount of cargo. You know, components, full repairs, ammo. Oh, which is one thing I want to do. I want to 
actually, like, um, say, like, right here. I want to sort of take a whole bunch of conveyors and put them through here. And then I will figure out how to connect them. Yeah, like so. out a little channel through which I will put all these conveyors. So that way they are connected. And I think I'll just do something like this here. Just bring you up here. And then just bring you through the wall. See? Conveyors. And then what I'm gonna do actually over here is I'm actually going to get out um, some weapons. Alright, I want some... I want one with AI that will be able to uh, shoot down fighters in case we have to deal with fighters. Like so. Actually, I think, instead, I'm just gonna put, like, 50 millimeter quad turrets there. Just like you. Just like this. And then I will embed them in the armor. Give it a little broadside capability. You see? Protect these thrusters. Alright. Then just put like you. Here you go. Broadside capability. There we go, we got ourselves our little outline of how it's gonna flow. Yeah. So that way it's got at least some protection on this. Some kind of defense aside from fighters. So yeah, lots of broadside capability. Well, decent broadside capability. These aren't, you know, take out enemy capital ships, capital ship um, defense weapons. These are take out fighter weapons. I'm just gonna have to encase this area in armor. Yeah. And then like you. There you go. There's our little broadside capability area. I guess that's what we'll call it. And I wanna um, get a feel for how tall I want to make this area. Of course, I'm back here. I'm going to cut off that.
no room for an airlock. Oh well. Just the reactor area. Alright, because it depends on what I want to put up here. Do I... I'm thinking I may make this the heavy fighter bay. I may decide to put heavy fighters and bombers. Fighters and heavy fighters and bombers up here. Of course, bombers may not be such a good idea because they are... They maneuver like poop. Okay? So I may just, um... I'm not sure, actually. I may... want... I'll try a heavy fighter. Why not? the heavy fighter has no um, landing gear, so that's a problem. I may just put more interceptors up here. I'll, I'll figure out something to do with this other bay, but in the meantime, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Um, actually, you know what? You. You do a thing. What we will do with you is we will add give you some landing capability. Landing gear. Landing gear. There you go. Get landing gear. Get landing gear. Like I said. Like I said. Alright, so we will B and then replace you, you'll get deleted. Yes, and you will be the new heavy fighter. Alright, you get me? Good. And then we'll just nestle you all nice and snug. No. There. Wonderful. See, you're perfect. You're good. Just all nestled in there. And I think, um, as far as what height this needs to be, um, I think that four blocks is good. So, yeah. Four blocks tall is good again. So we have the lower and the upper hangar bays. I could just make that... Oh, oh, oh. I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I got ideas. Good ideas. And then... try and do with you is I'm gonna try and land you. Alright, and not select any guns so that way I'm not shooting at anyone. But man, this thing maneuvers like a maneuvers. It doesn't maneuver very well. Go backwards. 
go backwards. Wonderful. See? Perfect. No damage taken to this thing at all. And now, I go to U, press P, and I turn off the reactors. I should just really turn off the reactors on all of these. Alright, there you go. Wonderful. You're good. You are a good. anything their carelessness bada bing bada boom we're good and we will put the bay for entering and exiting right there I can design something using um, those airtight hangar doors. Yeah. Eh, who cares if this thing looks a little brick like? It'll be effective. There you go. You're good. And now let's work on the back. Now that I think about it, I'm... I should probably work on the front to figure out where I'm gonna put the forward-facing thrusters, actually. Oh well. something. Alright, so what is this thing? You know, I think I actually have the perfect name for this ship. I'm gonna call it the Turtle. Because it looks like a turtle. That's why. I'm gonna call it the Turtle. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Boop. Here we go. I'm gonna sort of make this sort of hug my cargo bays. That way I'll have as much space as possible to use for thrusters and stuff. Here you go. Boop. Here we go. Three forward facing thrusters. Three forward facing large thrusters. Okay. So we have most of our directions covered for this ship, except for up and down, which, that's always the one that gets me. <laughs> this thing is big. So monolithic. And turtly. Am I not turtly enough for your turtle club? Hmm. This thing is turtly enough for your tur turtle club. Very turtly. Turtle. 
then what I think I'll do is I will put like the big command center area back there, right? And then there will be a way to get down to the rest of the ship. Here we go. I have no idea how I'm gonna shape this front part. Honestly. I have no idea how I'm going to shape it. No idea. Try and make it nice and even. Yeah, it's not too derpy looking. Not too derpy. go. There we go. Front part done. It's good. It's good. I like it. Despite how derpy it looks. Alright, so we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do up over here. So, here is my these airtight hangar doors gonna work for this? Not going to work at all. Right, so they'll cover all of that, except for the one spot. Alright, so... I need to figure something out. Is there a way to do this? Okay, okay, how long is this? Right, so that'll take up two, so that means I'm gonna have to cut it. There we go. Hopefully this is large enough for me to fit a thing through, but it's not. So I'm going to have to actually make this thinner. Maybe I'm gonna have to just just gonna have to figure something else out. Because the dimensions on this fighter, yeah, it's wide. Now I'll figure something out. Either way, this has been a uh, Geek's Guide to... No, this is a Geek's Guide to nothing. New this has been Nuclear Catfish Shipyards. That's what this has been. Thank you all for watching, and good night.